Hello and welcome to my review of the MF19 LED torch. Now this is from a maker that I haven't used before. This is branded My Carbon. Um, did a quick search on this and couldn't find much information apart from a patent that was registered recently. But anyway, we'll proceed with the review. I've put some specs on the screen so you can see there. Opening up the box you have quite a nice bundle included with this set. Taking a quick look at the user manual. Pretty straightforward with this one. You'll have a look through and see some of the specs there. The 100,000 hours is perhaps a bit optimistic, but we've got a power output of up to 800 lumens. On the other side, you'll see that we have uh, Type 3 anodized aluminium. So it's um, build and finish on this should be not far off of some of the premium torches. The included cell is branded by the same make and is rated to 2,600 milliamps an hour. Also get a micro USB charging cable included here. And there is a bike mount. Whether or not you're going to use this, I'm not sure, but it's a nice extra to have if you do have a bicycle. You'll see you have two silicone inserts there for sizes on the handlebar and two adjusters for the handlebar and torch. And there's a basic hand strap included. I prefer one with an adjustable center, but that's okay. Now the included case is actually quite nice. You have a popper on the back and there is a loop for the belt, elasticated sides, and we have a D-ring as well. This has a Velcro closing. It's actually quite a nice quality case, easily on a par with some of the better torches I've looked at. Now looking at the body, it's quite a compact torch, and you'll see these thick, deep engravings and um, machining in the torch body. It's quite a comfortable one to hold. I would have preferred maybe some finer grip on the handle area, there's the micro USB port for charging. On the bottom you have the slots where you can attach the hand strap. There's no button on the underside, just a single button here. And you can unscrew with a spring inside here. Machining on this is pretty good. Doesn't quite have the density of the top end ones. Um, top comes off too. You can see the other spring. So you have two springs. And I look at the LED, we have a smooth reflector with this torch and a single button here. You'll see it's slightly proud, but it is actually quite hard to push, so it's not likely to get activated by accident. Quick look with the torch in the bike holder. And just running through the operation, very straightforward with this. You long press for a couple of seconds and the torch comes on. You have three power levels, you just cycle through those. There's a strobe mode and there's a slower SOS. Pretty straightforward on this. Um, button isn't gonna be pressed by accident. It's pretty stiff, really. There isn't a lockout on this torch. So perhaps that's something I would have changed, but it doesn't seem to be a problem with normal usage. I haven't had any issues so far. What I've done is run this through a capacity tester because I've not used this type of cell before, and we'll see what that comes out at later. And this is rated to IPX6. So it should be water jet proof, but it does seem to survive some submersion. It probably doesn't meet the IPX8 rating of a couple of meters, but it does seem waterproof, so I wouldn't see any problems with that. There's no low battery level indicator on this torch. It just dims and fades away. That's something I would have changed perhaps because there is an LED just above the power button. Charging speeds are very good, just under an amp. Although this fluctuated a bit, it does tend to start off at slower speed and then ramp up. And once it's completed, it turns to green on the LED on the torch. Now, I completed my capacity test, and surprisingly, it came back with a much higher capacity than it would suggest on the label. And I ran this twice. It came Both times it came in just under 3,200 milliamps an hour. So it's either a mistake or they're being very generous there with the battery capacity. The tester is accurate. Now, looking outside, this is the MF19. I'm about 100 feet away cycling through the three power modes that you have. I noticed the moonlight was a bit brighter than some of the lowest modes on other torches, but the output was good. The TR20, again, you can see it's a bit brighter here than the MF19. The light pattern output is similar between these two. It's not exactly the same. The TR20 has a slightly more concentrated light in the middle. We're back on that MF19 again, and you can see Nice even distribution. I quite like the pattern with this particular torch. I'm not a big fan of the super concentrated look in the middle. And again, if we compare it to the TR20, you'll see some differences. 
There is extra output in the central area, but they both give a good peripheral illumination. The TR20 has a somewhat wider field of view uh, area that it lights up. It's not a huge difference though between the two of them. You do have the five power levels on the TR20 though, that is a nice feature. Now what I'm doing here is starting with the MF19, and then we're on to the TR20. We're at close distance just to show you the beam pattern. And then back again to the 19. Quite similar, the TR20 has that edge with the brightness in the middle area and both together now. This is just a quick test that I did just to show you the beam pattern. As you can see, it's quite close between the two with the TR20 being a bit brighter in the central area. Okay, so wrapping up on this one, I hope you found this video useful, perhaps show you a bit more about the torch, but I actually like this one. The performance was good. Um, it's about $30, $35, 30 pounds, and it offers good value for that price. It's certainly not as good in terms of features as some of the top end torches, but it does have a nice beam pattern. You get a good package and it's well built. A couple of areas that I might have changed, it's a bit of a shame you don't get a low battery level indicator because there's an LED on there and the three power levels you could argue perhaps you might want one more. But this is a really nice little torch for the price and certainly worthy of consideration.